Hi everyone, this is Joanne. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do Pink Fresh Fridays. I love Pink Fresh Studio. And I decided to use the Garden Bouquet collection. It's super pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's all um, embellishment stickers, ephemera, florals. There are some alphas and chipboard frames, journaling cards. Um, but there is no paper and also there's the washi you can there's stamps too. put this on some vellum or white paper and then there's a metal die and then you can get let me show you how beautiful they are oh my god I was thinking about using them but I decided against it this is washi on vellum and look at my photo my daughter and my granddaughter is that not the most gorgeous photo ever? I love it. And I cut a chipboard frame in half and I put foam on the back here and we're gonna do that. And um, I'm going to put florals and everything around. So what I'm thinking is the photo up in this area, we could do it in this area too, but I'm kind of liking it here. I should put it here because they're facing in this direction, but I just don't want to. I tend to scrap from left to right in my brain if that makes sense this is a journaling card i think i might bring that in just as a little pattern paper type situation so i was thinking chipboard frame acetate and then taking this for under florals gorgeous from this oh i love it putting it like this putting some sequins in there and then let me see, I picked out a bunch of florals. I don't really know where I want to put anything. These are gigantic though, aren't they? I might cut it just so I don't waste it. Do I want that there? No, I don't think so. Maybe it'll look prettier here. And then this one has a nice curve to it. I wonder if I can get that in there. So something like that. And then maybe sneak in this for the pattern paper of it I can't get under there for some reason I think I'm hitting this like come on paper you know something just a little pattern paper I could even cut it in half and get another piece of pattern paper in there somewhere so maybe this and then maybe I'm just playing around chipboard frame sequins that there I don't like those right next to each other though so maybe I'll move this so anyways, that's what I'm thinking, but because there's no pattern paper, I thought I could bring in a little bit of stenciling. So I grabbed the super pretty stencil from Bramble Fox. I've got that one and I've got this one. It's got butterfly trails on it. I want to use that. Okay, I found it. It's the mixed media one. I'm only going to use one color. I don't want a billion colors in here, I don't think. Could, however, bring in a little bit of pink, though. That would be pretty. Maybe I can bring in this Distress Oxide to go with that. I've picked out Catherine Pooler Serenade. Nice purple color. These two might look good. Let's try that. So I can do this. Hmm. No, I don't know how I... I can do this stencil. Oh, my God. They're sticking to each other in the purple and then this will be for the butterfly trails so i'll draw that in with a pencil and then do some mixed media in the pink
Okay, the mixed media is all done. I decided I'm going to use this little journaling card down here at the bottom and just kind of slide it in. Have it meet up with the frame there. And press. It'll be all good. Isn't that mixed media look super pretty behind that? It just gives it something, I think. Okay, I made a little mistake there with the stencil, but I think we can cover that up. I think I'm almost ready to stick things down. I thought maybe this one we had up here originally. I thought maybe this would look better down here. It's got that natural curve to it and then it won't be so big. Um, and hit this frame. Again, I don't know why I can't talk today. So that's good. So I know the frame's going to go there. So let's get some sequins. Super pretty little sequin mix. It's from, yeah, Spiegel, not, no, not Spiegel Mom Scraps. This one's from Shimmers, Shimmers Paints. Let me see, a little bit more, I think. I like my sequin shakers to be full, but still be able to move around. So, well, I don't know about that peach color. That's a little bit too much for this layout, I think. Okay. And then I want the purple on top and the orange on the bottom. Just gonna hover. And hopefully this is straight. Looks pretty straight. Okay, press down really good. Okay, and leave that for a second. And then I will. I kind of wish I had put that up a little bit higher, but too late. We'll just have the sequins peaking. All right, so with that, we're gonna need, because this is chipboard and it's up on foam, I'm gonna need a foam square underneath that piece of this. And I'm grabbing some right now. I can scooch some more in later off camera over underneath the leaves and stuff. I'm not gonna make you watch me do that. Okay, take that off. And then I'll put glue here like this. Okay, and let's see. I think that is good. Okay, I'm probably going to need more foam squares. Oh my goodness, let me put the top on this and put this away because, yeah. All right, so let's get our picture where we want it to be. I'm only going to put, um, or actually, I'm only going to take this middle one off am I yeah because I need to scooch my florals underneath and let me get this straight all right where do we want it up a little bit higher right about there yeah that's good and then I can just sneak underneath with my tweezers and grab so we're backing off the rest of that adhesive home, and then this way I won't be hitting things. All right. Oh, we decided we want this here. I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. It's just not working. Maybe if I have some of this peeking up like this, that'll look cute. And then look how big these are. Let's see if this looks good here. Oh, that does look good. Let me scooch it up here a little bit more. Let's see. Super duper pretty. If you guys hear any noise, it is so bad outside. It's not really a snowstorm, but the wind is like 30 something miles an hour. It's crazy. Glue that down, and I do like this placement, so I'm going to come in, some glue here, some glue there, press and hold, and then I'll lift this up, put some glue under that purple flower. All right, I have my title. It says Love Always, and it's a Bramble Fox piece. Oh my god, look at the colors, right? It's perfect. Now, I'm probably going to take... The leaves from the ephemera piece and just make sure they're inside this heart just so it doesn't look funny 
like half in, half out, have the owl come over here like this. Maybe, let's see. That's good, I guess. Hmm. I might see if I can get this up. Totally changed my mind on what piece that I want here now because of the title. So I'm going to just use that, tuck it so there's a little space between these, like this. Okay. I have my title there. I might want some of that purple to come down a little bit more, so I'm not going to glue this down yet. Let's do that. Just a little teeny bit more. So let me find my stencil. Get that leaf up there like that. I don't know. I can't figure out what piece I want right there. I just, I'm not happy with it yet. Just not. Maybe I like this piece. That's cute. Yeah, let's use that one instead. And then maybe we can bring this in. I like that color. Isn't that color pretty? Okay, that's pretty. And then if we see, now we have that little pattern underneath the title a little bit. So that's cute. Alright, so I'm thinking... Maybe we could do some thread. I haven't put thread on a layout in forever. So I'm going to put these two colors. Super pretty, right? So I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around my hand like two times just so I don't let go of it. And then I'm going to pull them up together and hold on to them so they don't go flying across my, <laughs> my craft room. Because, yeah, I've done that before. Almost just did it now. I just pull it and then keep twirling. That should be good. Maybe another pull. Alright, and let's cut this. Not working. There we go. Put these upright so I don't lose them. Okay, now it's a circle. Now I'm just going to mess it up like this. Make it so it's not such a circle. And then you can just fold it in half. And then come underneath here. I'll just have that peeking out a little bit. Yeah, that's cute. Then I saw this. This was on the sticker sheet. And I thought, would that look cute underneath the title? It says Best Memories. I don't really mind that. I think it looks good. We could uh, put some enamel dots or something there. This collection came with two sets of enamel dots. One in like a matte gold. And then the other one, the colors of the collection. So that's fun. I think that's straight. Okay. I think I'm going to put a foam square underneath that too. Because I kind of warped it when I pulled it. I am torturing my gorgeous ephemera. I'm just torturing it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have purple, like lavenderish, pink fresh gems I'm thinking about. I also made some butterflies. This is from a Hip Kit Club metal die. And I just back... I did them on white, cut them out on white, and then put them, glued them onto a piece of the purple cardstocks that were behind this photo. All right, let's put our finishing touches on this. I did go ahead and put the pink fresh gems down. One, two, three, four, five, six spots, because I thought they looked pretty there. Okay, this is a little sentiment. It says, delight in today. It's green, and then it's got the slash of purple underneath it. And it was a sticker, and I didn't want the whole sticker, so I just trimmed it out so I could see the sentiment part. I'm going to put a little glue in there, and then I'm going to try to get it in here, I think. 
in between the two card stocks. I did reprint my photo. I sure did. Because I got ink all over it. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I'm a hot mess. And I can't talk either. So let's put this right there. I think that matches nice. And I'll put um, a little strip of foam underneath that off camera. So you don't have to watch me do that. Oh, good. All right. A couple more small things. Because I reprinted it, um, there's a bunch of white space right there. So I was looking through the ephemera trying desperately to find something. And I couldn't. So I just said, let's just put another flower there. And let's see what that looks like. I just want to make sure it's not anywhere near my granddaughter's head. Because it would look silly. And I don't know... If that looks good. I think I like it. I mean, no, if you guys like that there. I just think it looks better to cover up all that white space. A little glue right there. And then, I don't know if I said this at the beginning, I made some butterflies. Okay, guys, let's finish this up. My battery was about to die, so I did have to stop for a minute, plug that in. And then I took the opportunity to clean up my entire craft room and sweep the floor. I had little pieces of metal dye stuff everywhere. I can't think straight when my craft room is a mess. What do you guys think about that? Are you the same? So I'm going to go ahead and put these down while I'm talking. But yeah, I can't. It, it's just like the floor was a mess. All my stuff was everywhere. I couldn't handle it. Kind of... It's like it blocks my creativity or something. I don't know. Let me know what you think and if it affects you too because I can't handle it. Just can't. Okay, we're going to put that there. I put foam squares just on the top. And then I put glue in the middle so the wings stay up. I'm trying not to drop these on the floor because I just swept. Okay, I thinking put thing this here oh I didn't put any glue did I um I came back in with that stencil and I put little teeny dots from the stencil around I just thought it needed some more so I put that in there but I think that's all I did yep that's all I did so we're gonna put him here and then we'll take this one and get this off and we're almost done thinking about splitters I don't think we need it because I'm liking the clean fresh look of this with the white super pretty right so let's put the top back on here because it'll dry out on me and then the last thing we're going to do is take the super awesome bramble fox stencil and draw a little swirly swirl just one for here have it coming off the page like this this is the coolest stencil ever it makes so you can do the butterfly trails or you can do the trail for a bee or a moth whatever you want or if you know your child or your pet was doing something super cute you can make a trail for them too so we'll do that there we need one more. Okay, and let's do some hearts for this one. Also, you can take this stencil. Super cool idea. Take your paper piercing tool. And then where the holes of the stencil are, you just poke a hole. And then you can hand stitch the trails too if you wanted to do that. Also, that would be way cute. All right, cool. So I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to do splatters. A little empty right here, but white space is a good thing sometimes. So this is kind of like a diagonal design, but... The colors are gorgeous. This collection is super pretty. I wish that they had made paper for it. I really do because I think it would have been a huge hit. But that's just my opinion. 
So there's the gorgeous florals, the stencils. All three stencils were from Bramble Fox. Everything else on here is Pink Fresh Studio besides the Basil cardstock and the Bramble Fox title. Shimmer's Paint Sequins. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for stopping by. In the description box below are links to my other friends who are also participating in Pink Fresh Friday this month. We do it once a month, the fourth Friday of every single month. So if you enjoy it, come back and check it out. And if you would like to join, please feel free to um, contact me and we're happy to have you join the hop. It's YouTube and Instagram. If you don't have a YouTube, you can make a Pink Fresh studio layout and still join us, okay? Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.